The learning objectives for this module of Avigilon University are a general understanding of the layout and use of the Avigilon Control Center client software, logging in and out of servers, and a full understanding of how to view live video within Control Center client software, including understanding views and panels, and how to digitally pan, tilt, and zoom within images, as well as how to control mechanical pan, tilt, and zoom cameras. All video alarms and events within an Avigilon HD surveillance system are viewed and managed by the Avigilon Control Center client software. By default, after installation, there will be a shortcut available on your desktop for a Vigilon Control Center client, or it can be launched by clicking the Windows Start button, selecting Programs, and then selecting a Vigilon Control Center client from the Vigilon Control Center client folder. Once launched, a Vigilon Control Center client will prompt you to log in to any automatically discovered servers. Unless changed during setup, the default parameters to log in are Username Administrator, all lowercase, with no password. You can select whether to log in to all servers or only individual servers, and also can select to log in using your Windows credentials if that has been set up on the server. If the server is located on a different network, it will not be automatically detected. Click Find Server to find a server manually using its IP address or host name. On the Find Server dialog, enter the IP address or host name of the server, and if it has been changed during setup from the default, enter the base port as well. Next, choose the connection speed for the server. If connecting to a server inside your local network, choose LAN. If connecting to a server outside your local network that has a lower bandwidth connection, choose WAN. Click OK to find the server. Once you have identified the server you want to log into and entered your username and password, click the Login button. At any time, you can log out of a server by right-clicking on it in the System Explorer and selecting Logout. The Avigilon Control Center client is divided into five different areas that will be referenced throughout Avigilon University training modules. The Menu Bar, the Toolbar, the System Explorer, the Timeline, and the Workspace. Video is always viewed on a view, which is a grouping of image panels within the workspace. All currently open views are listed below the main toolbar at the top of the workspace. Each tab indicates a different view, and that view can be selected by clicking on the individual tab. Additional views can be added by clicking the New View button on the toolbar, and a view can be closed by clicking the red X on the view itself. To view live video from any camera, simply select the camera from the System Explorer using the left mouse button, and click and drag it into an image panel to begin live viewing from that camera. Alternately, you can right-click on the camera in the System Explorer and select Add to View to have the camera automatically added to an image panel. The View Layout buttons on the toolbar can be used to change the number and division of image panels currently being viewed. Clicking any one of these buttons will change the layout of image panels on the current view. A view can be saved at any time. A saved view stores the layout of image panels and which cameras are being viewed, including any digital zooming. To save a view, select File from the menu bar and click Save View. Enter a name for the saved view and click OK. Saved views are listed in the System Explorer and can be loaded at any time by clicking with the left mouse button and dragging them into the workspace. Alternately, you can right-click on a saved view to access its menu. From this menu, you can open the saved view as well as rename or delete it. There are three tools common throughout the Avigilon Control Center application that can be used for zooming and panning within an image. The hand icon selects the panning tool, the magnifying glass with the plus sign is used for zooming in, and the magnifying glass with the negative sign is used for zooming out. To select any of these tools, you can click on the icon in the toolbar or select the desired action from the tools section of the menu bar. When you're done zooming or panning, click the white cursor icon to return to the standard cursor. When using the Zoom In Magnifying Glass tool, you can click and drag with the left mouse button to highlight the area you wish to zoom in on. When using the Zoom Out Magnifying Glass tool, you can use the same gesture to back out the digital zoom on an image. When zoomed in on an image, you can hold down the right mouse button and drag the mouse to pan within the image. Or you can select the Pan tool from the toolbar to pan with the left mouse button. If you are using a mouse with a wheel control, you can also scroll the wheel up to zoom in and down to zoom out at any time, regardless which tool is currently selected. If you are using a mechanical analog or IP PTZ camera, you can bring up the PTZ controls at any point by clicking the PTZ controls tool in the toolbar or selecting it from the tools menu. This enables both the on-screen PTZ controls and the PTZ controls below the system explorer. 
When controlling a mechanical PTZ, the same mouse controls as digital PTZ will also control the optical zoom as well as the mechanical panning of the camera. When scrolling the mouse wheel up with a mechanical PTZ, it will control the optical zoom to zoom in. When scrolling the mouse wheel down with a mechanical PTZ, it will optically zoom out. The on-screen PTZ controls will control the panning of the camera. As you click in a highlighted direction within the image, the unit will pan in that direction. The further out you are from the center of the image, the more quickly the unit will pan. If desired, the on-screen PTZ controls can be hidden by disabling the PTZ controls image overlay after clicking View on the menu bar. You can also use the full set of PTZ controls available on the left-hand side underneath the System Explorer. The arrows here perform the same panning actions as the PTZ control overlay in the image. The plus and minus buttons here allow you to control the zoom, iris, and focus of the PTZ camera. There's also a control here that defines the speed the unit will pan. Also available is the control to start and record a pattern as well as set and bring up PTZ presets on supported devices. You can click the menu button to access the camera's on-screen menu. Finally, you can click the lock icon to prevent other users from controlling the PTZ functionality of this device. Whether or not you have the permission to lock access to a PTZ device is defined during setup of initial user permissions. Thank you for your attention. You should now have a general understanding of the layout of the Avigilon Control Center client, including logging in and out of servers, viewing live video, panning, tilting, and zooming both digitally and with mechanical PTZs, and a general understanding of using image panels and views.